Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to demo this antique coin bank that I have in stock and I wanted to kind of show it because it has a bit of a mechanical feature to it, which is kind of interesting. So uh, the coin bank, I don't know if you can see, but right here it's got numbers here and here. This is a basically the dollars window and this is the cents window. Right now it's showing a dollar and 20 cents. So the fun thing about this particular bank, I'm gonna demo it right now, is that you turn this gear on the top until the opening lines up right there. You can see right there. Then you put a dime into it and you roll the gear until you get right there it clunks the dime down and hopefully you could see it changed the number in the window so it's literally counting the coins and the dollar value as you put dimes into the bank i'm going to do it one more time just so i can get a little bit better look i'm going to put that in there like that and roll this down and right now it's about to flip so I'm going to zoom way up in here so you can see the coin clink, clunked down and this changed to $1.40. So in theory that's how many dimes you have in there. And what they intended for people to do, you can see here it says you save a dime bank. So what they were trying to do is they would actually give these banks out or they would give the coin banks out from banks to little kids and what they wanted to try to do is encourage kids to put their dimes in the bank and have the bank count up when it was quote full and then what would happen is when you got the uh, dollar showing up here all the way to ten dollars then they encouraged kids to come into the bank and start a bank account so really they were trying to encourage savings and also kind of trying to, you know, solicit new com customers with it. So it's kind of a fun object that they had. And you can see here that there's a little window or a little door on the side that you would have used to retrieve the money, except it's my understanding that they would actually lock these. So you would have to go to the bank to get it opened up. And clearly somebody was not patient because whoever owned this particular bank has hacked into it to get their coins out, <laughs> which is fine. And on the back, I just wanted to kind of show they have all of these direct detailed directions to kind of explain how it was supposed to work so that you knew what to do with the bank when you got it. And as I said, this is an antique coin bank. It's probably a little over a hundred years old. Um, the research that I did shows that this company, the Shonk Works, was in operation in around the 1910s. So this is a fairly old bank and given its age, the lithograph design on it is actually in pretty nice condition. Uh, a lot of these that I saw that other people had sold, the, the, bear, the uh, images on the bank were hardly recognizable. It was you know very faded, old, a lot of rust on them. So something with this much color and detail is actually in pretty nice shape for a bank this old. Anyway, I wanted to show it so that you could see how these work and see how creative people were back 100 years ago in terms of not just trying to get people to save money and not just trying to get kids to um, be more uh, conscious of their money, but also the way that they designed this bank to actually count up your coins as you put it in there so that you could have a tally on the front of it to see how much money you saved. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all for now.